It's Beer O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Kirkstall Brewery and it's a can of their Defiant Straub. This is a fruited sour at 4.5% ABV in a 440 milliliter can. I really have liked everything that Kirkstall have brought out over the years. Really enjoyed their beers. Um, I really remember at the beginning of this year 2022 that I had a really good I think it was a salted caramel stout from Asda it was tremendous really good value for money this is their fruited sour uh, there's a lot of breweries these days who are dabbling in that what is it must be said a very very interesting time for craft beer drinking in the UK. You're either going to love this stuff or you're not going to love it. Depends what side of the fence you're sitting on. Um, I've had some... I've had a few decent ones. I've had a few shockers. But in life, I did a business course when I was 18 years old. And uh, the first thing that they taught you in business is people will spread bad news faster than they will spread good news. So an example of that is if you went to a restaurant and you had a really good meal, you might tell one or two people. If you go to a restaurant and have a terrible meal, you're likely to tell 10 people. It's just the way the human mind is all wired up. So of course, naturally, you have a decent one of these sour beers, you might tell one or two people. You have a bit of a shocker, well, you're going to tell the world all about it, innit? So this is a one to two finger, slightly pinky head. Uh, it's definitely strawberry in colour, a hazy strawberry coloured beer. At this stage of the beer review I want to say you can pick this beer up from Bingley Brew Club. It's a beer subscription service where all the beers are based in the Leeds Bradford area of Yorkshire. The likes of Magic Rock, Northern Monk, Salt, Salt Air, Vocation, Frisky Bear, Amnity, Wishbone, Horseforth, Black Sheep, Kirkstall, Ilkley, Binny, Nor, you know, Lots of different brews there. So there's two subscri two subscriptions you can pay for, a medium tier and like a higher level tier. Um, you get a packet of crisps and a certain amount of beer, whatever tier you want to go for. Um, I'm not going to mention the price. The reason why I won't mention the price is you might be watching this beer review in like five years time and the price would have fluctuated by then. So I'm not going to talk price. Have a look at their website, Bingley Brew Club. See what the price is as of the time you're watching this beer review. Um, yeah, seems a pretty decent company. Nice people. Let's get the aroma. Oh, wow. It's got it's it's got hints of strawberry, almost mint, almost like. Um, like mojito type mintiness coming through. This smells interesting. Spicy, peppery. Mmm, this smells okay. Is that green leaf actually mint? Maybe, oh hang on. A refreshing seasonal sour flavour with strawberry, basil and a sprinkle of black pepper. So it's basil, not mint. But you definitely get the black pepper. You definitely get that kind of peppery spiciness coming through. Looks good. Smells pretty decent. Should we dive in? Cheers, everybody. That's pretty decent. <laughs> I don't know why I just did that. Um, it, it's got that kind of sharp, 
on the tip of the tongue kind of freshness, sharpness about it. There is a level of sourness coming through. It's not the it's not the most crazy level of sour. It's what I'd like to call British sour. 2022 British sour, where they call them sour beers, but yes, there's a sourness in there, but it's not crazy. It's not like some of these fantastic Belgian sours, but I suppose I've got to learn to live with that, haven't I? It's very refreshing. Very, very refreshing beer. Very drinkable beer. I'm loving the fact that Everything that's going on in my brain, in terms of the flavour, is split second. But it keeps going round and round. You're getting these split second flavours, but they keep coming back and back. So for one split second, you're getting some strawberry. The next split second, you're getting what I'm going to call like a minty basil type taste. And then the third taste is that kind of peppery spiciness that's coming through. There's a sourness in there as well, of course. It's quite tart, of course, with that strawberry. Um, it's very interesting, a very interesting beer. Um, it's very refreshing, it's very drinkable. I like this from Kirkstall. I do. Um, perhaps, perhaps finally my head is coming round to these beers. Perhaps that talk with Brew York where we did that live feed in the bar just a couple of weeks ago where they I asked them to explain this whole kind of sour beer phenomenon where basically sour beer is not sour anymore. It's just kind of like concentrated fruit juices. And they explained to me that like IPA has different levels of bitterness. Some can be a hundred IBU, some can be next to nothing. So is the same with sour beer. So these fruited sours has a, have a little bit of sourness. This has more than some that I've had. I've had some fruited sour beers that are, they just taste like smoothies. And I don't want that from beer. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't want to be just drinking a smoothie. This has some depth to it. This has a certain level of sourness to it, an acceptable level of sourness where you can say, do you know what? Yeah, I'm on board with this. I'm on board with this one. Actually, on a hot summer's day, this would go down a blooming treat. Again, Kirkstall Brewery, they've never let me down. I've always had decent beer from Kirkstall Brewery. Everything I've had has been top quality. Even their supermarket offerings, top quality beer, really good quality beer. They're one of those breweries for me that have just completely, because I live in South Wales, they've just completely kind of stayed off my radar up until 2022, this year. Up until right now, where, right now, whenever, whenever I see a Kirkstall beer, whether it be in the supermarket or on a website, I'm looking to buy it. I am looking to buy their beer. It's good, good quality beer. Yeah, I'm glad they didn't let me down. I was kind of, because I had such a great run. I had such a great run drinking Kirkstall beers. I was thinking, ah, oh, I hope this is not the beer that I don't like from Kirkstall because I haven't, I, I, you know, you guys know, if you've been following the channel um, recently, you'll know that I'm not a fan of these smoothie stroke sour beers, but, but this is good. This is a good example. And it's a good example because it's really clean. You're getting the fruit, you're getting the basil, you're getting the pepperiness, but it's got a really, at the start of the review, I did that kind of, I made that silly little noise. It's got that kind of crisp, clean, refreshing feel about it. It's delicious. That is a delicious beer from Kirkstall. 
a refreshing seasonal sour flavoured with strawberry basil and a sprinkle of black pepper, bringing earthy spiciness. Kirkstallbrewery.com, follow that word. Follow that up on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Check them out. They are based in Leeds, Yorkshire. I would like to go and visit them. In fact, with me doing my craft beer in series of videos, I'm going to go to Leeds and I'm going to make a damn good effort to go to Kirkstall Brewery and, and have a beer with these guys. But yep, I'm going to rate this. Looks good. Smells good. Tastes good. I like it enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.